So I created this five minute hairstyle on the whim one day while I was um, getting ready for my engagement photo shoot and I realized that it was so easy to do that I could turn this into something even quicker and then show you guys how to do it because it is so great for second day hair or the mornings where you wake up a little bit late and you don't have time and it looks really cool. So I'm going to show you how to do this really simple, really cool updo that makes you look like you really know what you're doing and it takes probably probably three to five minutes at the absolute most. Okay, so here's what you're gonna need. A brush to brush out your hair, um, a comb to tease it, and bobby pins, probably at least 10. Um, I mean, the more the merrier. So uh, this is my hair in its natural state. I don't have any product in it. I washed it last night, slept on it wet, and here it is. So um, you just gotta brush it out, but if you have super fine hair, you may need to add some dry shampoo just to make it a little bit texturized because you kind of need a little bit of volume. So the first step is to just brush out your hair. Okay, so my hair is completely brushed out. No more tangles. You're gonna take your comb and find a really good side part. You could do this down the middle, but I don't know. I'm not a big fan of middle parts with the tease. So what you're going to want to do now, and this part is crucial, crucial. Take this back from like the root crown of your head back and just tease this top layer. I have a lot of uh, body in my hair, so I don't really need to tease it with hairspray, but if you have, if you're not, you don't have really crazy hair, just use a little bit of hairspray to keep the tease up. You're just gonna want to tease all around that top root, so that base, or sorry, around like at the crown, so that you get like a good little poof. Don't mind if it's a little bit messy. Probably shouldn't. Don't care about that. What well, part of life is fun if your hair is not a little bit messy all the time? Okay. So then you're gonna gather what you just teased. You just gotta tease the roots. Make it exactly the height that you want. Gather that back part and then pin it with a bobby pin. See what I'm doing right here? Just do a little cross. I hope that you guys can see this. And then take this front hair and pin that back. Don't worry about the bobby pin placement, it'll be covered up. And then take this side and pin that back. So actually, if you want a little Audrey Hepburn-esque half ponytail, there you go. So this is what it looks like from the back. I'm just trusting I can't see this side, but. Okay, so now you have your poof. Here's what you have to do. Take your hair, let me try this side. Take your hair and split it in the middle so that you are left with about this much on the bottom. So you have a pretty heavy ponytail, including the hair from the poof part. And all you do is twist it a little bit like this, twist it, and then wrap it around itself. So you're creating a really simple bun. And then you're gonna take your bobby pins and pin it all the way around the base. There you go. Does that make sense? So now you've completely pinned that around the base. And then you take this hair that you've left and separate it in two sections. So it's one on either side. And then all you're going to do with this is braid it. Just a really simple braid. But the key is you have to braid it the opposite direction. If that's too hard, you know, if you're not a good braider, you can do it the same direction. It just looks better the other way. So braid it into three parts. Remember, this doesn't have to be exact. We don't do exact hair, we do cool hair. Just do a really simple braid. If you want to spend more time, you could do like a fishtail braid if you cared, but who cares? So just braid, braid, braid. 
the longer the braid, the cooler it's going to look. And then you can just bobby pin this white braid, the other one. I take this hair, go the other way. I probably should have left a little bit more hair down, but it's harder to do without a mirror. So just braid this all the way down. Remember, we went the opposite direction, so these are crossing underneath in the back. You'll see why. Okay, so then you take your braided one, and you just pull it up, and you wrap it around the top. And then pin it. Try to pin it as discreetly as possible. And then you take this other one, and just go the other way. The thicker that you make the braids, the cooler it's going to look. But I just didn't, I didn't make my braids thick, very thick. But as you can see, now you have a perfect little thing. I'd probably pull out some pieces here and there. Pull out some pieces, just make it look a little bit messier. But you just did a really simple updo with a pretty cool twist in the back. And how easy is that? And it looks way harder than it actually is. And if you pin this appropriately, it'll last. Yesterday I did this in the morning and then I worked out after work and it stayed the entire time. And there is no hair elastic in there. So anyways, it's so simple. You have absolutely no excuse to not have your hair done in some cool way every day. Because this took four minutes. You can absolutely 100% do this. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know. If this isn't very good, I'll redo it. Let me know. Okay, bye.